Hello Aquarius, Sun Moon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So you do have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. This could definitely represent that there's a separation currently at play. Sometimes when this card comes out, it could also represent like a long distance relationship for some. But we'll see what it's more so leaning towards because sometimes I also look at retreat um, as two people coming back together after a separation. So Let's see what's going on. We're gonna focus on you first and we'll jump over to your person. Just keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. That is Aquarius currently view this relationship. So we have Justice, we also have the Three of Pentacles, and then we also have the Six of Wands. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Two of Cups. You could be dealing with a Libra possibly a Cancer, maybe even a Leo or a Capricorn. But let's look at this person really quickly. How does this person currently view this relationship? Okay. So we have the, okay, okay. We have the Eight of Cups. We also have the Justice card. And then we have the Sun. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. You know, this kind of feels like a starting over energy that's taking place here between you and obviously somebody that you do have a lot of history with. Now, whatever happened here between you and this person in the past, like I said, it could have definitely caused a temporary separation here between you and this person. But I like it because this time around, the both of you feel really good about this uh, relationship. Maybe you didn't really feel so good about this relationship in the past maybe they didn't necessarily feel so good about this relationship either but the fact that you guys are starting over with one another and it's causing you to feel really confident this time around that the two of you can be able to work towards something amazing with one another and they're feeling the exact same way just goes to show that you guys are basically on the right track here so i do want to look at the eight of cups though before i keep going time so out with the eight of cups You could very well be connecting with somebody who's slightly older than you because they are coming across as an empress. Now, don't get caught up in the gender, though, because nothing's gender specific. Just because this person's coming across as an empress doesn't make them a female. They could definitely be a male because we all have masculine and feminine energy within us. Now, one thing that I will say about this person in particular is that they don't really know what to anticipate and or expect. And I feel like that does kind of slightly worry this person, you know, having to essentially start all over again with you. Don't get me wrong. It is something that they want as far as starting over with you is concerned. But I do feel like this person is slightly worried that history might repeat itself here, okay? So let's just say for perfect example, all the two of you did in the past was fight and argue with one another. They're very worried that that's gonna happen again this time around, but the fact that we have the sun out here and the justice card to the 10 of pentacles in time, just like for you too, in time you guys are gonna start to feel really good about this relationship and where things are heading this time around here. So are they slightly concerned that history might repeat itself here, that it may not work out between you and them? Sure, but I feel like that has a lot to do with just things that have happened in the past here between you and them. But nonetheless, it looks like you guys are definitely heading in the right direction. You guys are really feeling good about the starting over energy that you guys are having with one another. How does Aquarius feel currently? We have the Ten of Pentacles. We also have the Page of Swords. And then we also have the Nine of Swords. I want to look at the Nine of Swords. Tell me more about the Nine of Swords for Aquarius. You know, you guys are very similar. That's one thing that I will say. Just like this person is slightly worried and concerned that history might repeat itself here as far as like starting over with you is concerned, you're kind of having those same concerns on your end. You know, as much as you want to focus on the future, as much as you, you want to focus on how good things are right now between you and this person, a lot of you can't help but to essentially think that, well, what if history repeats itself here, right? What if you're making a mistake by letting this person back into your life and, you know, things of that nature. But I feel like that's something that the both of you are actually concerned about you're not the only one here they are also concerned about exactly what it is that you're concerned about but I like this overall energy because I feel like this is you, you know, being realistic here. Realistically speaking, things are improving here between you and this person. Realistically speaking, this new chapter that you guys are starting with one another, it feels a lot different than what it felt in the past. So I feel like you're trying to force yourself to move on. I feel like you're trying to not think of the worst potential outcome to possibly transpire here between you and this person, which is something that I really do like because realistically speaking, things look really good here between you and this person. Things 
feel really promising this time around. So you want to continue to hold on to that energy. Even though you might find yourself worrying about, well, what if this happens again? What if that happens again? I kind of see you forcing yourself to really snap out of it. How does this person currently feel? <clears throat> By the way, you guys are tr showing up as a true pair. I didn't show it on camera, but... As I pulled for these cards for you, you came across as a king of swords, which is your overall energy, Aquarius, and they're coming across as a queen of swords. But nonetheless, let's keep going. Uh, in regards to how this person's currently feeling, you know, I definitely feel like there's going to be a conversation that takes place here between you and this person. Um, if it doesn't take place, it's a conversation that needs to take place nonetheless, right? Um, and it has a lot to do with this concern, right? As far as like starting over again with you is concerned. You know, they just don't want to feel like they're investing all of this time and all of this energy towards you for nothing. Like that is their biggest concern. You know, time is very valuable to this person, which I'm not shocked, you know, they did come across as an empress, and empress is somebody who's very, very wise. So you are dealing with somebody who's very, very wise, somebody who's very, very intelligent. You know, I think that the both of you know exactly what you guys need to do here in order to create this brand new beginning between the two of you. And it does kind of require you to change certain things about yourself, and then it requires them to change certain things about themselves as well, which is something that I really do like because I feel like the both of you are actually acknowledging that. But nonetheless, they really do want things to change, especially with the world being out here. They want things to change. This person has this full understanding that if things don't change, if you guys keep doing the same things that you guys been doing, you guys are going to continue to get the same outcome that you guys been getting, right? And that's something that this person is very much so aware of. And I feel like you're aware of that too. Um, but just, just keep in mind that the same worries and concerns you have are the same worries and concerns that they have. It's pretty evident to me that you guys do want things to be better. You guys do want things to be different. Um, but that's the thing is that you could want things to be different all day long and so can they. But if you guys are not willing to kind of put forth the effort to actually make that happen, it's not going to happen, right? Um, but I do feel like a conversation might take place about this. If it doesn't, it's something that needs to be spoken about for sure. How, what actions will Aquarius take towards this person are moving forward? Oh, Aquarius. You have the Eight of Swords and then you also have the Two of Swords and then you got the Ten of Wands. This is really concerning for me anyways, especially for this relationship. This is you still very much so hung up on the past. The Eight of Swords to the Two of Swords creates a Six of Swords at play. And that's all about moving forward, right? And moving on. Now, that's something that you have a very difficult time doing as far as like moving forward and moving on from whatever happened here between you and this person that caused the separation to begin with. It's still weighing heavily in the back of your mind. And you're having a very difficult time letting it go. It's almost in a sense where a lot of you feel like you don't know how to actually let this go. You don't know how to actually move forward um, and, and not let this continue to affect you because I am kind of getting that for some. But let's let's look at this person and then I'll jump back to you. I do want to pull some advice for you for sure. Hmm. What actions will this person take towards Aquarius for moving forward? Okay, we got the Four of Pentacles, we have the uh, Three of Cups, and then we also have the Six of Wands, okay. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Fool, we also have the Seven of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles, then we got the Two of Cups, and then we also have the Page of Cups. Mm. This is kind of, you know, and I'm not really a fan of this person's overall energy. I'm going to be completely honest because I feel like there's going to be a conversation that takes place here between you and this person. And I don't like the way that they're coming across because, and this kind of reminds me of like the um, Gemini reading that I did. I feel like this person's not taking into consideration how you were affected by all of this, which makes sense in a way because this person's never going to understand all of this that you carry around with you because they're not carrying it around with them. So they cannot possibly possibly relate to what you're going through because they're not in your shoes. Let's just be honest. They're not in your shoes. They cannot relate. That's just what it all boils down to. But they're kind of coming in with this overall energy of like, just let it go, Aquarius. Let it go. Why are you still talking about Aquarius? Why are you still thinking about it? Like, just let it go. Just let it go. And 
they they genuinely do believe that if you were to just let go of their fuck ups, their mess ups, that things would just be amazing. Things would just be great between you and them. And and to a certain extent, I do a, a I do agree with this person, but it's one of those situations where they're not in your shoes. Like they're not going through what you're going through. Nobody is, right? So just because they're sitting here telling you just let it go, Gemini, or I must see, because I that was the same message that Gemini had in their reading. Sorry, Aquarius. But you know, they're just coming in with this overall energy of like Aquarius, just let it go. Like if you were to let it go, jump you know, there I go again. If you just let it go, Aquarius, we would be fine. We would be fine, you know? But Again, it's one of those situations where it is easier said than done because they're not in your shoes. With the Four of Pentacles to the Three of Cups to the Six of Wands, it's more of that, that overall energy of them feeling really good of where things are heading here uh, between you and them. But I feel like the moment that this happened, you know, as far as you feeling overwhelmed, as far as you overthinking things, as far as you really questioning, you know, what you're doing here, I feel like that's going to be the response towards you. We'll just let it go. Just let it go. Stop thinking about it, Aquarius. Stop dwelling on it, Aquarius. But it's easier said than done because they're not in your shoes. They're just not in your shoes. Um, okay. Um, I want to see some advice. I want to get some advice here because I don't feel like them just telling you to let it go is... I don't feel like it's going to really help. You know, I think that this entire situation kind of requires them to be a little bit more compassionate uh, towards you and a little bit more understanding, you know, because they're not in your shoes. They cannot relate. They just can't relate. Um, any advice for Aquarius in regards to this spread? Okay. I like your advice. I really do like your advice. I do. I really do like it. So the Six of Swords came out, which I'm not shocked because the Eight of Swords to the Two of Swords creates an, um, a Six of Swords at play. Your overall advice is to really focus on moving forward and moving past this because you really need that. You really do need that in order to start this brand new beginning here between you and this person. You really need to focus on healing from this entire situation and moving past it all, okay? You can't continue to allow this entire situation to continue to affect you and haunt you. No matter if this relationship works out or not between you and this person, it's something that you need to heal from. It's something that you need to come face to face with, and it's something that you need to move past. It doesn't matter if you guys work out in the end or not, it's something that you have to do either which way. Because let's say, for example, you know, you get to that point where you're just like, no, like this is too much, I can't do it. This is going to, this is going to essentially follow you in the next relationship. And that's why it's saying no matter if this situation works out between you and this person or not, it's something that you need to address. It's something that you need to come face to face with. And it's something that you need to move past because if you don't, this is going to continue to haunt you. And that's not obviously what I want or what God wants for you. So take time to really heal. Take time to really address this, this situation and figure out a way to move past it. And that could be as simple as, you know, seeing a therapist, um, venting to someone that you essentially trust, somebody that can give you like the proper tools to really help you, right? Move forward and move past all of this. Again, regardless if this situation between you and this person works out or not, it's something that you need to come face to face with, okay? Now, once you're able to come face to face with this very thing that continues to bother you and haunt you, then you'll be able to really start this brand new beginning here. But at the end of the day, this one over here needs to understand where you're coming from. This one over here needs to be a little bit more understanding and compassionate. Um, and listen, at the end of the day, you're going to get over this when you're finally ready to get over this, okay? I feel like this one over here is just coming in telling you, well, just get over it, Aquarius. Just get over it already. Like, that takes time. That takes time and it can take weeks, it could take months, it could take years. But if this person's willing to be by your side and really work this out, they would be nothing but understanding. All right. Um, and if they're not, then that should tell you a lot about this human to the right of me. But nonetheless, you gotta you gotta face this and you gotta move past it. Either which way, regardless if this works out or not, because I don't want you to throw your hands up and say, you know what, this is too much. I can't take it. I'm moving forward and moving on with my life. I'm just gonna head in a whole nother direction because yeah, this is not working out for me. That energy is gonna follow you in the next relationship, and I don't want that. I don't want you carrying 
anything from this relationship, from your, your experience with this person, into a next relationship. I want you to start off fresh, okay? I don't want you to go into another relationship with, with baggage at all. I don't want that for you. Um, is there potential for the two of you to work things out? Um, absolutely. Absolutely, but it does kind of require you to really focus on moving past all of this. And listen, just because they want you to get over it by tomorrow does not mean that you're going to get over it by tomorrow. Doesn't mean you should either, right? Like, you're going to get over this when you're going to get over it. And that's something that they're just going to have to accept. If they can't accept that, well, then, you know, what can you do here, right? I do want to see the outcome, though. I do want to see the outcome here. What's the outcome? Okay. Yeah, this, this, this person needs to be a little bit more compassionate and a little bit more understanding here. You know, I just kind of feel like this person just wants to get this ball rolling so quickly here between you and them. I feel like this person just wants to start this whole new chapter and leave the past in the past, but they're not in your shoes. They cannot relate to you. And that's just something that they need to accept is that they are not in your shoes. They're not going through what you're going through. You are, right? And because you're going through it, it makes this starting over energy between you and this person that much more difficult and that much more harder for you. Just because they can move past things a lot quicker than you can doesn't necessarily mean that you're supposed to be like them, right? Um, and that's something that this person needs to really understand here. If in all actuality, they do want to be with you and they do want to make this relationship work, okay? I don't want to pull any romance angels because I don't feel like they're going to really help us in this situation. You know, your overall advice already came out for you. And I feel pretty confident that you'll take time to really heal from this entire situation and move past it for your sake, for your sake, not for them, but for your sake, right? Because at the end of the day, once you're able to move past this and it's not haunting you anymore and it's not affecting you anymore, it's going to benefit you obviously in this relationship with this person. Or if you decide, you know what, too much, I'm not going to do this. It's going to benefit you in the next relationship. All right. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description box down below and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.